And reactions have continued to trail the leadership crisis of the Bochi State House of Assembly following an attack on some members by hoodlums at a meeting venue. Residents who describe the crisis as uncalled for are urging both camps to sheathe their swords for the sake of peace. The report. Across the state capital, residents are calling for calm in the interest of democracy, saying that the crisis will further divide people along party lines. All this while, these members did not say anything. Whatever the governor sent, they will pass it without questioning. Now their interest is not protected. That is why they are not happy with the leadership and they want to impeach the principal officers of the house. Now we know them. One of the major issues is the 2022 Hajj exercise in the state. Some are not happy. They are stranded at the Hajj camp and the speaker is the Bauchi deputy Amirul Hajj. Yaume Dala, a Bauchi politician and businessman, and Mohammed Usman said it was unfortunate that issues around pilgrimage contributed to the fracas. The House members are taking too far to satisfy their selfish motive and they are not doing it for the people who elected them to represent them. But what transpired is that their list of intending pilgrims didn't make it to Hajj. So they are only witch hunting the speaker to impeach him. That's my opinion. They didn't start it until when they are not around. Uh, I'm not saying I didn't go deep to know what is the cause, but uh, the reality is what they are pursuing for the impeachment, they are right. Why didn't do it when they are around? Why is it after they are not around? That's the area of our question mark number one. Number two, uh, I don't know. The causes they are mentioning, I think this is a global problem. Why? Because it affects almost all the states. Almost, almost all the states they are affected with this issue of uh, pilgrim, uh, pilgrimage of this year. And uh, from our side, the Muslims, we thank God. Meanwhile, efforts to reach members of the House for comments proved abortive, even as security personnel remained stationed at the entrance of the House of Assembly complex.